Just like how I predicted, so many would fall victim to the trap of climbing way too hard, way too soon. I myself got injured on my first climb back after lockdown. It was the classic, I felt a pull in my finger. It felt alright, so I continued climbing, but the next day it just felt a bit stiff and slightly painful in these areas here. This is more of a casual video on my own injury and how I am dealing with it. I injured my ring finger of fourth phalange. From the mechanism of injury, I'm suspecting tendons of flexor digitorum profundus, FDP, flexor digitorum superficialis, FDS, Lumbricals or a pulley injury, which from the way it feels, I'm thinking unlikely, but let's test them. I want to test which one it is out of the four suspects. FDP, FDS, Lumbricals, pulley. Test for the FDP. FDP runs from the proximal surface of ulnar bone and interosseous membrane and forms the muscle belly, then splits into four tendons and attaches to the tip of the fingers. It's the only muscle that connects here. So to test, I hold the mid phalange down, then flex this part up and apply a resistance with my middle finger here. Ah, I felt the same pulling feeling. FDP is successful. Second suspect, the FDS. FDS runs from medial epicondyle of humerus, coronoid process of ulna, and proximal half of radial surface and attaches to the sides of middle phalanges 2 to 5, basically these four fingers. To test them, we question them. Where were you on the morning of September 25th, 11 a.m.? Unlikely you will get an answer, so we hold its brethren down and bend the suspect up like this and resist. Mine doesn't hurt as much as the FDP did, so FDP is still sus. Third suspect, lumbricals. Lumbricals run from the tendons of FDP and attaches to the extensor expansion of the hand. That is these things here. The lumbricals flex the metacarpophalangeal joints. So to test, we stretch it like this, then contract it at the joint it flexes. Mine doesn't hurt, but I do feel a slight discomfort, but remember it attaches to the FDP as well, which reproduced pain for me. The A2 pulley is probably the most commonly injured because it attaches straight to the bone, making it less flexible than the other pulleys. Mine isn't a pulley injury, but normally to test for it, the best would be an ultrasound scan. Otherwise, it normally hurts around here during a crimp, and it also swells up and is tender on palpation to this area. You can also press this region right here, giving a firm pressure where my thumb is, and then flexing up. It shouldn't feel nice if you have injured your A2 pulley you might feel a clicking sensation. However, if you've ruptured all your pulleys, you get something called the bowstring, where your flexor tendons become basically bowstrings. So after ruling out suspect 234, I can confirm that the FDP tendon of my ring finger is the one that's injured. One thing I did realize is that when my pinky is bent up here, this test on my ring finger hurts. But when my pinky is locked down, the test on my ring finger doesn't hurt. I found some research saying that in some people, the ring finger's FDP connects to the pinky's FDS. Therefore, when I bend my pinky up using the FDS, the FDP on my ring finger is pulled further and the test on my ring finger hurts. This is for another video. Stay tuned. Don't worry about it.